Hey YouTube, The Spicer here to give you a quick tutorial on photography of your kits. Now you don't need a crazy amount of stuff. You don't even need a really nice camera. All you need is good lighting. These bad boys right here do great. This is a lighting set that came off of Amazon for about, I want to say it's a hundred bucks, um, but it gets you everything you need. If not, there's a lot of other alternatives. If I can get it here. Lights like these that come out of photography sets for camera tents for 30 bucks, I think. I um, mean, you can find the individual lights a lot cheaper. Or if you are very limited in budget, which is totally fine, because not a lot of people want to dump money into this hobby, which is great, or this portion of the hobby at least, uh, you can find little trinkets like this, 10 bucks. And you can get some pretty decent light out of it. But right now what we're doing is really gonna focus on the backdrop and the figure itself or the kit. So of course I'm using my phone. So something like this is a good start. Make sure your angle's good, make sure your posing is good. And you can get pretty good with pretty much nothing. Like there's nothing behind him right now. You don't need dioramas or any of that stuff to get really good shots. Now outside of that, you can kind of turn in, do things like that, and it still looks pretty good. And you can even kind of mess with it a little bit more. And you know, if you have another suit, well, I'd say with the ground type Gundam there, you can kind of do shot like this where it's over the shoulder or behind the mobile suit trying to get you some stuff or you could pull out a little bit further and do something like this but the important thing is outside of the kits you've already got construction paper you can get a big set of it on Amazon for like 10 20 bucks not a crazy lot but we're gonna move that guy over to the side because I do want to show off one thing this is the Iron Sprite, this is actually an SH figure art figure. Um, but the Robot Domus here are very similar. I just didn't have any of their stuff out right now, so this would work. But once again, your angles are important. So right there, you've got a pretty good good thing going on. And the anime figures, the anime Robot Domus figures, are gonna do very similar. Um, I know that pretty much all of them have some kind of effect, with the exception, I think, of the Cold District GM. But everything else, the Gelgoogs, the Zakus, the Gundam, um, the Doms, the Zagaks, everything has a some kind of firing effect or something, much like Spider-Man's webs here. And you can get some pretty good shots going out of this, once again, just knowing how to work angles and having proper lighting. Don't need a fancy camera. Don't need a fancy really anything else. Just this. Just the figures, the desire to take a picture, and that's pretty much it. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite thing to photograph is, or put some links down in the description so we can see some of your photos. Of course, follow us on our Facebook so you can post those there too, because we always like to look at our fans' contributions. And as well, be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been The Spicer for the Gumpley YouTubers, signing off.